President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. said the nation can honor and draw inspiration from the heroism of the 44 Special Action Force or SAF policemen who were killed in a firefight in Mama Sapano, Maguindanao, nine years ago. According to the President, their sacrifices would be devalued if the country cedes its territory. We would also be disrespecting their memory if we give quarter to those who terrorize our people. We would be devaluing their valor if we cede our territory to those who would trespass upon it. He also urged Filipinos to honor the 44 Special Action Force Commandos by helping create a kinder and gentler society. So how do we pay homage to these brave men whose gallantry no memorial can fully capture, whose courage no words can fully extol? It is by working tirelessly to realize their dreams for their families, for their children, for their comrades, for the people. It is now up to us who live, who, to, who benefited from their full measure of devotion to duty, to build a kinder and gentler society, wherein those they have left behind can live in peace and prosperity. The president also expressed sympathies to the loved ones of the slain 44 police commandos, hoping that they can find comfort knowing that a grateful nation, still nursing a big hole in their hearts, feels deeply as much. President Marcos said it is the obligation of this state to help realize the South 44's dreams for their families, for their children, for their comrades, and for the Filipino people as a way of giving meaning to their valor. Meanwhile, Vice President Sara Duterte has expressed her tribute to the heroism and sacrifice of the 44 brave members of the PNP Special Action Force. In a statement, the Vice President acknowledged the courage and valor displayed by the said individuals and paid homage to the dedication and legacy they left behind, emphasizing that their example should serve as inspiration for all Filipinos. According to VP Duterte, the heroism demonstrated by the SAF commandos serves as a beacon, encouraging the nation to further advance the cause of peace. In light of the solemn occasion, PNP Chief Police General Benamino Orda Jr. has offered counsel to police officers, urging them to deeply appreciate the peace that the SAF 44 valiantly fought for in service to the nation. As one united Team PNP family, we must remain worthy of the great sacrifices of our fallen heroes, forever loyal to the country they love and serve, and the freedom they fought and died for. Then Maribuhok, UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.